Welcome back everyone, Patrick here and moving on to another question dealing with the remainder theorem for polynomials. So what value of m will the polynomial f of x equals negative 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus mx plus 5 have the same remainder when it's divided by x minus 1 and when it's divided by x plus 2. So in this case, we know that, for example, if f of x is divided by x minus 1, what is, by the remainder theorem, going to be? What's the remainder going to be of this division here? Well, it's going to be f of 1. Now, if f of x is divided by x plus 2, by the remainder theorem, what's the remainder of this going to be? Well, it's going to equal f of negative 2. Okay, and we're told that these remainders, they are actually the same in this particular question. A lot of times you'll get questions where they'll, where they'll say, for example, like the remainder when it's divided by x minus 1 is equal to whatever, 10. Then you would write f of 1 is equal to 10. Or if it's divided by x plus 2, then the remainder is going to be 6. Then you would write f of negative 2 is equal to 6. But in this case, we're not given the specific remainder, but we are told that these remainders are the same. So what's the equation that we can make? Well, we know f of 1 has to equal f of negative 2. So with these kinds of questions, I always recommend writing out something like this that makes sense according to the question. So those statements that I wrote out before, if you're given specific remainders, write those out first. In this case, we want to write out f of 1 equals f of negative 2. Get this statement first, and then the rest is easy. It just ends up being algebra. Don't get into the algebra right away. Just keep it general first so you kind of know where you're going and make sure that it all makes sense with the question that you're given. And so from here, we just have to basically plug in stuff. So what's f of 1 going to be? Well, we would plug in 1 for all the x values. So we'd say negative 2 times 1 to the power of 3 plus 3 times 1 to the power of 2 minus m times 1 plus 5, right? This is f of 1 is equal to f of negative 2. So we'd plug in negative 2 for all the x values. Like that. Right, and just be careful with your algebra here with all these exponents and stuff and all these signs. Just uh, check your work every couple of steps and it looks all good to me. So from here, one to the power three is just one times negative 2, that gives us negative 2. 1 to the power 2 is just 1 times 3, that would give us 3. 1 times negative m is just negative m plus 5, like that. And then we'll have negative 2. What's negative 2 to the power of 3? That's negative 8. Be careful with the signs here. Negative 2 to the power of 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 times negative m gives us positive 2m. And then we have plus 5, like that. And then just simplifying the way, so negative 2 plus 3 is 1, plus 5 gives us 6, so we'd have 6 minus m. Here, negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16, we'd have 12 plus 2m plus 5, 28, 33. Right, and then we have 6 minus uh, m, bring the negative m over, so we'd have 2m plus m, which would give us 3m, bring the 33 over, 6 minus 33 would give us negative 27, like that, and then just divide both sides by 3, m is equal to negative 9. Right, so that ends up being the final answer. So the polynomial 
m would be negative 9, so you'd have minus negative 9. So this would end up being positive 9x right there. Right? That would be the polynomial. And then if you want, if this comes up on a test, for example, you have time to check your answer, you could check it. You could plug in. So you would have plus 9x. Find out what is f of 1 then. What is f of negative 2? And then both of them should be the same.